about 12 years ago, um, I lose track of time, but we started moving towards an electronic medical record. And I, and I can remember telling the board as we looked for more horsepower, if you will, uh, on that issue, I remember telling the board that, you know, as we moved into electronic records, I said, if our financial systems go down at three o'clock in the more three o'clock in the afternoon, and we don't get them going until midnight, so no one died. If um, our electronic medical record goes down in the ICU, and there's a patient attached to that, that's a big problem. And so we had to make sure that we had uh, a lot of, you know, depth within our department to keep our systems going because there was patients connected to it. So we. We also looked at our own staff, and although they were excellent, um, we really thought we needed some enhanced capabilities that perhaps our staff at that point couldn't provide. Um, for example, uh, and this sort of these are actually the things that CareTech provides for us: a help desk. We always had a help desk. We now need a help desk 24/7 that can uh, answer questions, get the systems back online if they go down. And we felt we needed some expertise along those lines, and CareTech has provided that. The other thing that CareTech has done for us that I'm not sure that we did as good a job is they tend to anticipate glitches in the system long before we see them, and they correct them long before we see them. So there's this constant monitoring of our IT systems 24-7, eliminating problems uh, before they even occur. So those were you know, some of the drivers. I think also, actually, um, even though we had a good shop, um, there are times when we need expertise, but we might not need to hire someone. We might need someone to come in. For example, we we got our PAC system up and running. We need someone to come in and help us get PACs running. We might need it for three or four months. CareTech is a company that can find those resources, bring them online, and then remove them when they're no longer necessary, rather than us having to go out and find them and hire them on either a consultative or full-time basis. So. Those are some of the things that we felt we could get with an outsource arrangement. Um, we also felt that, that, that CareTech, with the number of hospitals it has, might give us a little more clout in the marketplace. I mean, when you have a sole hospital system such as ours, you know, going up against some of the major vendors out there, we're one mm -hmm. hospital. Uh, mm -hmm. If we have problems, CareTech can say, no, we're 11 hospitals, mm -hmm. and you know, you ought to make good on, on that promise. Mm -hmm. So that, those were, were some of the reasons, I think, that, that we, um, we decided that we needed to outsource at least a portion of our of our IT um, uh, structure. So now, what does they do? I mean, they're they're it's our offsite data center. Uh, they provide all network operations. Um, the help desk certainly is, was a, a great addition, and they've also helped us very much on the security side, which you know is very important uh, uh, then and it's very important now. Mm -hmm. And from a um, you know, some of the standards coming out of the federal government very important in the future. So uh, those are some of the reasons that we got into this relationship.